Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, so today's video is very special to me. Some of you may know that I've been grieving for my best friend over the last few weeks. Um, I lost my best friend a few weeks ago and I'd known her for 32 years. We were best friends, we met in secondary school and it's taken me a while to really process it but something that always comes out in my artwork are my feelings, my thoughts and my emotions. Now today I want to celebrate my best friend. Her name was Suzanne. She, she was a very special person to me and I just wanted everyone to join me and celebrate the person that she was and also know that when you're struggling with grief or when you're struggling with a certain situation, when you're creative or you're artistic, sometimes that can come out in the pieces that you make. So I'm going to use all the colours of the rainbow because she really brightened up my life. She really brightened up the lives that she touched as well. So this is a very special piece. Thank you for sticking by me. I hope you enjoy this piece. I know it has some very sad and tragic circumstances to go along with it, but it's a really special piece to me. So I hope you can join me and I really want to celebrate my friend. Suzanne, this is for you. So first of all, I have mixed titanium white with some Australian Floetrol. So I'm going to put that right underneath all the colours as I layer them because when I work this piece, when I blow it out, I'm going to hopefully create some really nice lacing embedded within those colours. So I'm going to take one colour at a time, all the colours of the rainbow, one by one, and I'm going to puddle them on top of the white titanium. One of the reasons I wanted to do a rainbow piece was to basically demonstrate that even if you're going through a tough time and a sad time, there is always hope and positivity and happiness. It's a little bit like a storm once it's rained. Sometimes with the rain and the sunshine comes a rainbow and that's what I really wanted to signify here. My best friend was so special to me. We had so many happy memories and we were always there for each other and that's just like a rainbow. There's so many colours within that rainbow design that can signify different emotions different feelings and different thoughts. So there's no base colour or base coat on this. As you can see, I literally layered a line of the white titanium with the Australian Flow Troll and puddled the colours on top. I'm just going to take those now and just gently spread those out. I'm just going to add one more line of the white titanium and the Australian flow troll down the center of this piece. And then I'm going to basically use up all my paints and add a line across the line that you see here. Now my paints are mixed with the UK version of flow troll. It's O troll. So this paint consistency isn't what I would normally use for a Dutch pour. This is more of a consistency that I'd use for, say, a swipe technique. But what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to take my blow dryer and I'm going to blow out the colours. But because it's thicker, 
I'm able to control it a little bit more. And because I've added the Australian Flow Troll, what I'm hoping is for an infusion of lacing in between all of those colours. I don't know about you, but certain colours draw me to certain emotions and feelings. So whenever I see green, actually green is one of my favourite colours. It's an understated colour and I don't feel that it is used so much in fluid art. And it's a colour that I'm really kind of passionate about. But it's also a colour that relates to healing. And it's something that I feel that when you grieve you do a lot of healing and a lot of reflection. And these colours might mean something else to you as well. So what I would say is if you're going to work with rainbow colours, it's okay to associate whatever emotions and feelings you have personally to those colours. There are obviously some universal meanings to colours. And again, that's okay, but we all have our own personal meanings and thoughts to the colours that we're drawn to at a certain period of time. So all I'm doing is I'm taking my blow dryer, which is set on the lowest mode and a cool setting, and I'm basically putting my blow dryer quite close to the surface. But as I said, the paint consistency is quite thick. It's not my normal Dutch pour consistency. This is more of a swipe consistency that I would use. But I can slowly blow those paints out and they don't muddy, but they still infuse together. And the Australian Flow Troll really helps create that cell and lacing effect. As I paint and as I create, I'm thinking of all the happy times I had with my friend. And something that I've promised her is I will carry her memory with me throughout my life. And when I look at a rainbow and when I see a rainbow, I'm going to think of her. Let me show you some of the details up close and then I'll show you the dry version. So let me show you the dried version. It's a piece that I'm really proud of and a piece that's really personal to me. Thank you all so much for sticking through this video with me. 
thank you for sending me your love and your support, especially for those people that understood that I was grieving. And there's no time limit on grief. So if you're going through the same thing, be kind to yourself. And if you can, maybe leave me a rainbow in the comments below. Thank you all so much for your support. And remember, be kind to yourself. Reach out to your friends and family as often as you can. And just remember, life is precious. So live it for you. See you soon. Bye.